This tutorial is going to look at ways for importing AutoCAD line work into SketchUp and to begin to create a model uh, using a few extensions in SketchUp that will help generate the geometry pretty quickly. In this case we've got uh, a basic AutoCAD file uh, and we've broken it into two pieces, uh, basically starting with a combined file but uh, making a copy of that file and calling one site plan ground, the other site plan uh, canopy. It can also just be used as a reference file. Uh, the reason that uh, I want to break these into two separate files, and it's not always necessary, but when I begin to create this geometry for the ground plane, I only want to reference the tree canopies in this case, and I don't want them overlapping uh, this ground plane and creating smaller faces or additional faces that aren't actually necessary for that base model in SketchUp. So I've broken them into two uh, different AutoCAD files. Uh, usually I'll run a purge on this just by typing P-U-R-G-E and uh, just deleting out some unnecessary uh, components that are in here. Uh, once we've got this file cleaned up, I'll come over to SketchUp and say File Import. And uh, it's at this point that I can actually navigate uh, to that file, in this case, and some lab files here. Now there's some options in here, and uh, typically I'll just leave it at model units. Uh, you can also, if you find that it's scaling inappropriately, uh, you can change this to feet and inches, or you can just rescale once you import it into SketchUp. So I'm going to leave these uh, with, with these basic settings right here, say OK, and import. It gives you the import results and anytime that it brings it in it's going to be one larger component so the first thing I'm going to do is right click and uh, say explode. Uh, some people say this isn't necessary for some reason I just like to go through this extra step right here and if you have a really in-depth AutoCAD file this could take a little bit of time. For me it's going to work pretty quickly and you can see now I can click on these individual components. Now. In certain areas, and this happens a lot with arcs, you'll notice that uh, there are gaps in here. And when we start to uh, create the geometry for it, that could potentially be a problem. Might not be a problem, but certainly could in some cases. We'll see how that actually affects this right here. What I'll do is I'm going to select all of the line work here, and I'm going to use an extension called uh, Make Face. And so when I go to my uh, extension manager right here, now you'll notice that I've got uh, S4U Make Face Pro, and this is for my uh, SketchUp Pro 2019. I've got it installed, and it comes with a, uh, you can see it here in the extensions, and I can actually click this uh, to run the command. Uh, you can also create a little toolbar over here. It's under uh, View, Tool Palettes, and you can see I have it checked. Now I can either, like I mentioned, go to uh, this and click on it, but I have it as a uh, toolbar and I just like to click this button right here. You'll notice that it's going to make most of uh, this geometry uh, have faces. And there's going to be a few gaps as we can see over here uh, that we might just have to grab the pencil tool uh, and just start to uh, fill these pieces in grab my eraser and uh, go back and just erase these lines. I do it for this other area as well, just the more traditional way of doing it. But if you remember that gap that we had in the line work, and it exists in a lot of different areas, here's one. What happens uh, when we make a face, it actually has to make this all as one large face. And it's not really a big deal because these are just score lines in the concrete. They're all going to be the same material anyway, so it doesn't matter a ton for me right here. What I am going to do though is back up a little bit and uh, go through another command before I do the make face command. Uh, and this is another uh, extension in the uh, extension warehouse. It's uh, the edge tools right here. Uh, there's also something called cleanup and it's better for once you have your uh, model fully developed. The edge tools are going to be helpful right after that import. And so what I can do is again we've got these gaps here and there are more throughout the drawing. And I'm going to pull up my Edge Tool Palette. If I go to View, Palette, and Edge Tools, it brings up this palette right here. I'll select all the line work once again, and I'm going to hover over this uh, button right here, which says Close All Edge Gaps. Now there's a tolerance that you can set on here, and I've got mine set to 2 inches. You could set it to 1 inch or half an inch. Uh, in fact, 1 would be probably be fine for this right here. What I'm going to say is OK. And so it's going to run through the model and hopefully close a lot of those gaps. We'll zoom in, see that one's closed, uh, and it doesn't always close them. In fact, I'm going to try to find one that it didn't actually close and see if we can run with maybe some different tolerances 
uh, to actually get them to close. Seemed like they did a pretty good job here. Now, what that means is when I actually go to make faces, uh, that a lot of times you're going to see uh, that it makes individual faces for this sidewalk. So now they're all individual pieces. This can be really advantageous, especially over here if I might have a different concrete color um, or a different material altogether. Uh, allows me to uh, sort of control that a little better. Again, I need to come back with a line tool and sort of clean this up, but we're ready to start uh, applying materials uh, using push-pull in this case. Um, select this and I can start to project up my buildings, maybe clean up this line work as well. Uh, project up uh, seat walls, type in appropriate heights, and then of course double click with the push-pull tool to uh, repeat that same distance. I would do it for columns and like I said, begin to apply materials here. Uh, so this is how to get started in uh, SketchUp using uh, your AutoCAD line work, importing it in, possibly cleaning it up using the edge tools, uh, and also installing uh, the plugin uh, Make Face that's going to turn all of this line work into individual faces that you can uh, start applying materials to and, and adjusting in SketchUp. The last step at this point is actually to go to import that reference file we were talking about. So I'm going to reference uh, or import this canopy. I'm not actually going to uh, explode this, um, but bringing it in, it does allow it to uh, serve as a layer that can become the basis for me to actually put uh, these trees in, or if it's a reference for any other file, uh, maybe bringing in uh, some tables and chairs and you want to have a know where those locations are, this reference file is going to be helpful for that. Once you've decided that uh, you've referenced it but you don't need the line work anymore, you can do one of two things. You can simply click on that line work and delete it. Or you could go to uh, Windows and Layers and actually turn that layer off.